there, welcome to Well Purpose Woman. I'm Elizabeth and today we're gonna to be crafting this beautiful fabric heart wreath. So grab your scissors and some fabric and let's get started. So to start, I'm going to take a wire wreath form and I have this heart one from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get them on Amazon or Walmart or something as well, but this one was from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start by just covering this with a steering wheel cover. I know it seems a little bit odd, but I saw people doing this with the round ones and I thought it would work with the heart one as well. And this is going to kind of fill in some of our gaps on our wreath today so we won't see any gaps when we're tying our fabric because the white will help disguise kind of where the different spaces are. And then you're going to take your fabric and you're going to cut your fabric into nine inch lengths and then you're going to cut those nine inch lengths into one and a half, one to one and a half inch strips. And so I chose this white stretchy fabric. I think the stretchy fabric works, works pretty good with this wreath and then I'm cutting it down to about nine inch strips and I'm just going to quickly speed this up and do that but you want to do all of your fabric into those one and a half by nine inch strips. Then you're going to take your strips over to your wreath and just tie them on over the three parts of the heart and we're going to let the little tie stick out from the top of the heart and when you're tying it, it doesn't matter necessarily if it's on the top or if you just move it up there after it's tied, but we're going to have all the ties sticking um, out of the wreath. So you can kind of see how I have two strips there and then just continue adding strips along the whole um, of your wreath form. And that's going to be the most time consuming part of this wreath. But once you have your ties and strips cut then it does go fairly quickly you can just put on a podcast or your favorite show and then just it takes about an hour to tie all these strips around the wreath form now of course you could make a different size strip if you would like a slightly wider strip i wouldn't necessarily recommend anything um, less than an inch just because it would just be take a lot longer but of course you could give that a try as well but the wider um strips could make this go a little quicker um, you would just want to pay attention to how it looks um, at the top of your wreath if you're going to have the knot stick out the top there might be some gaps or spaces in between the strips if they're too wide um, but you could also turn the strips around and make the ties be in the back of the heart and then you wouldn't have to worry about anything showing as well so that would be another option but i'm just going to continue to tie my strips onto my wreath form. I'm not gonna show you um, the whole time it takes to do this because it takes about an hour, like I said, but just keep tying the, your strips around your wreath form. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below. I'd be happy to answer them, but it really is a pretty simple craft and it does yield pretty nice results. So I'm gonna just speed the video up a little bit and then I will stop again once we get to the end of the wreath.
did want to show you when you get towards the point of the heart, um, sometimes the fabric wants to slip off of that point. So I did just take my glue gun and I just secured some of those strips into place on the point of the heart. Um, so just if you feel like it's moving around a lot and you kind of want it to stay in place, just take your hot glue gun and glue down some of those strips so that they don't move around. Um, I found it especially helpful right here at the point. But once the wreath is completely covered, just go ahead and fluff the wreath or trim off any longer um, ties on your wreath. And then I used this vintage lace and I just looped it around the top of the heart and hot glued it um, into place. And then that is gonna be the hanger for my wreath. But that's all there is to making this beautiful wreath. wreath as much as I did and I hope that you'll hit that red subscribe button down below so we can keep in touch but thank you so much for being here and I look forward to crafting together with you again soon